Hi there, I just want to talk a minute about smart objects in Photoshop. Just a quick little primer on it. Um, I have a file here, if you look over in the layers panel, that has some placeholder text, it has a frame, and it has a photograph of Dusty, my cat. So here's a photograph of Dusty, and uh, here's the frame. I'm going to turn off Dusty's layer to show you that it's just a frame, and I've knocked out the inside of it. So it's basically transparent pixels there, and I've also added a little uh, glow effect, inner glow, to this to kind of give it like a matte or a shadow look around this. Very subtle. I'm going to turn on uh, Dusty's layer here. And the first thing I'm going to do with Dusty here is I'm going to transform it without turning it into a smart object. So I'm going to go Controller Command T and I'm going to zoom out because it's a pretty big picture. I'm going to zoom out by Control minus or Command minus. I'm going to go to a corner here in the upper left. We'll say, whoops, upper left. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I'm going to hold on my Shift and my Alt or option key and that'll scale it down uh, from the center here and I'm gonna make Dusty pretty small I'm gonna let up and I'm gonna hit my enter key and it's going to accept that so I'm gonna zoom back up here I'm gonna hit command or control zero and now if I want to I've changed my mind I want to bring Dusty back up to a bigger size than this so I go Command or Control T, I go to a corner, I hold on the Shift and Alt or Option key, and I'm going to drag Dusty up here, and unfortunately, as you can see, as I let up on the keyboard and the mouse, um, the picture's all pixelated, and that's because we didn't turn this layer into a smart object ahead of time. So when I scaled it down, and then I hit enter on the transform it threw away all the extra information it needed from its original size and only kept what it needed to make it a little bitty cat so that's not so good so if you want to have some flexibility if you're compositing pictures or you're resizing them um, you might consider turning them into a smart object so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an undo control or um, Command Z and now I'm back here with my regular dusty picture and I'm going to come over to my layers panel and I'm going to right click on my layers panel on the layer itself and I'm going to convert it to a smart object and now you see this little icon here in the corner of the thumbnail let me make them uh, those thumbnails a little bit bigger let me go down into the pop out panel for layers go to panel options come over here and make them nice and big click on that now you can see this little icon here. It looks like a file with a piece of paper. Because what a smart object really is, is a container that holds the original file's information. So now when I go to transform Dusty's logo or Dusty's uh, image again, I'm going to go Command or Control T. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, Command or Control minus, so I can find the handles. I'm going to go to a corner. I'm going to hold on the Shift key and the Option or Alt key so I can scale it proportionally from the center. I'm going to bring Dusty down. I'm going to let up on my mouse. I'm going to hit the Enter key. I'm going to go Command or Control zero. Fit in window and oh rats, I'd like Dusty's picture to be bigger. Well, Command or Control T, hold on the Shift Alt, drag him back up and he looks just as good as he was when he was at his original size now you can't go bigger because that's you know you're trying to make an image bigger with not enough pixels so you can come back to the original size and it will continue to look great now I'm gonna hit enter now here's a couple more things I want to show you about smart objects Okay, we're going to go in here, we're going to edit this type, and I just have to pick the T or the type layer here. I just take my text tool, as you already know, and I bring it over here, and I put it over my type, and I'm just going to highlight this, and this is um, Cat of the Year. Now, 
maybe you're doing this for some pictures of people who work in your office maybe some of your products or whatever so I've gone ahead and done that now what I'd actually like to do is put a different picture in here so I'm gonna go over to my layers panel and I'm gonna double click on the smart layer icon for Dusty's picture and that's gonna take me into the container that's holding Dusty's picture so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out and get another picture so I'm gonna open up uh, another image here I can't remember which one it is let me go to open and that'll be safer and it's this picture of some geese I shot uh, excuse me photographed and I think I'm gonna do it the easy way I'm gonna select all I'm gonna copy I'm gonna close the image I'm gonna come back to dusty now here's a real small detail that I didn't show you up here on the tab here's the name of this file that we're working on with Dusty here it says layer 11 PSB uh, to be perfectly honest I don't know what the B means but I do know that means it's part of a smart object so I'm gonna paste this picture in here I'm gonna go edit paste and there's the picture of my geese um, I probably should turn that into a smart object in case I ever want to size it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide Dusty's layer and I'm going to save this container. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to close this file up here. It's going to ask me if I want to save changes to layer 11 PSB. Now that's part of the smart object so it's really only saving this change in this container so now the container holds the picture of the geese not dusty now it updates back into the other smart object so there it is right here is this object right here is back in this smart object so it's been updated so what I'm trying to show you here is you can build up these templates that maybe hold some placeholder text. Uh, they have like this frame and you want to constantly swap out pictures. Well, you can actually go ahead and turn this kind of into a smart object. And then every time you want to put a new picture and you just double click on the smart object, you open it up. Uh, I can throw this picture of the geese away. I can throw this picture of dusty away for that matter let me make it visible in fact before I guess I better do that I better bring in another photograph because you have to have a layer so file and open find another one of my uh, pictures I have shot a horizontal picture here um, how about this picture right here of this flower bring it in and I'm gonna select all I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna close it I'm gonna paste it in here in the smart object I'm gonna turn it into a smart object in case I want to scale it down and then bring it back let's see here click right click smart object and I'll hide Dusty's picture and I'm going to save this container and up with this updated picture. I'm going to go up top. I'm going to click on the close on the tab. It's going to ask me do I want to save this PSB. That's going to save it. Now it's going to go back up and update because it's used in this smart object. Now this is here. So here's just a little bit about smart objects. Um, again, this is kind of a more advanced way to use smart objects but the key thing is we can go ahead and we can scale up that scale down that picture and then bring it back to its original size and we don't lose anything now one last thing I'm gonna take uh, my smart uh, object here with the geese on it and let's say I want to apply a filter to that well since it's a smart object I'm gonna go under here to filter 
and I'm going to come down here to filter gallery and I'm going to pick uh, plastic wrap and I'm going to come over to the lower corner here and I'm going to click on the arrow and I'm going to make this fit in view so I can see it so I apply this plastic wrap filter to it and I click OK and there it is in all of its glory and then somebody might say oh ooh, I don't like that filter you applied well because we made this layer a smart object I have access to coming over and clicking here in the layers panel now I have smart filters and smart filters means that I can go back and double click on where it says filter gallery here and I can go in and I it's a live effect no longer is it just a static effect where you apply a filter that you can't go back and update or change but now I can because I made it and apply I made it and applied it to a smart object so if I pick this one here uh, under painting let's see here watercolor is that going to change anything dramatically here how about colored pencils that might do something okay so now I'm going to click OK so I have smart filters in my layers panel because I made this layer a smart object so now I have the flexibility of turning on and turning off that filter because it has an eye icon here to make it visible or not and if there wasn't enough right there you could come over here on the right there's two little sliders this changes the blending options so if I double click on this these little icons it opens up the blending options just for that filter effect so if I want to scale back just the filter effect I can do that I can it's crazy I can go in here and change the blending mode if, but I can go in here and you can change how these blending modes so <laughs> it gives me the ability not only to f um, change the opacity of the amount of the filter effect I can go in here and change the blending modes and see how things are looking it's just it's crazy it's 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 taking the filter effect and applying a blending mode to that and how it interacts with the photograph it's being applied to now if that wasn't enough also you see there's a little rectangle here next to smart filters well that's a mask that's a layer mask or a filter mask over that uh, filter so if I come over and take and change my paintbrush to uh, black fill I get a paintbrush I change my paintbrush size by my bracket keys and now I paint black on this um, actual picture what it's doing it's making a mask that's blocking that filter effect as you can see over here here's the in the layers panel here's this black dot that represents me painting black on that mask so anywhere I paint black it's going to hide that filter effect uh, there's just no end it just gets crazier and crazier as you add more and more things now what's the downside of smart objects well it's making a much larger file than what you started with with regular layers two you to edit re originals that are in containers or in smart objects you got to double click and you got to come over and work on them then you got to maybe double click again to go into that smart object so it's a little more work but sometimes it's worth the effort if you want to have this flexibility to do this so one more time let's just swap out another picture here I'm going to go over to my layers panel I'm going to double click on the icon I'm going to uh, bring in a new photograph let's see just one more not sure what's in my repertoire here but let's see whoa sorry about that let me bring up really a wonderful photograph in my humble opinion a wonderful photograph of a fly 
<laughs> there it is. Let me select all of it. Let me copy it. Let me close it. Let me paste it into here. I'll make it a smart object in case I ever want to scale it down. So let me convert it. And I'll maybe I'll leave it like it is. Now remember, we're inside a container. So I'm going to close this. It's going to ask me, do I want to save changes? Yes. Now it's going to go update the container this smart object is sitting in. So now it's doing that right now. In fact, I forgot to turn off the flower layer, so we'll actually see both. And uh, there's that infamous fly picture um, just there being shown to us. And again, this is in another container because if you look up here, it says placeholder type PSB. If I hide this, or I should close it, save changes to this container. Now it's going to actually go back in a second and just show us uh, over in the layers panel just this one container. So again, if you want to edit the smart object, you double click. There might be other smart objects inside of it. You might have to double click. And again, you have this flexibility to kind of make some templates and then just plug new pictures in whenever you want to. So I'll just bring Dusty's picture back and we'll finish up here closing out of this container, this smart object container. It's going to take me back to this container showing me a picture of Dusty here within the frame. And... Um, yeah, it looks pretty doggone nice here. So there's a little bit of a crash course on smart objects. And again, we're seeing all these edges here because this is, we're in a container showing all this. But as soon as we close this, now we're going to go back to the final container with the picture frame cropped and dusty looking like a champ for cat of the year here. So let's see. There you go.